up you guys it's amy welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a favorites video and i will be taking you through my pila case sharing all of my favorite lenses answering some of your questions about pila and if you stay till the end i will share my top three lenses that i would suggest to you guys so i hope you enjoy the video let's get to it i also just wanted to say really quick that this video has been in the works for the past month or so so there's different clips and i'm wearing different clothes so just that's that's why <laughs> The first thing I'm going to talk about are the different types of Outlaws. So you can either get the Outlaw X7s or the X6s. So I have the Outlaw X7s. So you can see on the side there, it will either say X6 or X7s. The difference between the two are the X7s are slightly smaller and designed for someone with a smaller face or head shape. More often than not, you'll see females reach for the X7s. That's why I have them because I have a smaller head and men typically go for the X6s. So those are the difference between those two. You may have noticed that I do have some moleskin on here and we found that these were still a little too big for my head even though they were the X7s and they rubbed up against my ear rungs. So a quick fix was to put some moleskin on there but that wasn't gonna serve me long term. So that's when we turned to Mr. Gustin and we worked through it. The solution that we came up together was for me to get the Outlaw X7 cable temples, which they loop around your ear, and that would bring it up a little bit closer, and what's awesome about these is you can adjust how far or how close they are. So that's super awesome, but again, they were still a little too big for my head. So that's when my dad turned to Amazon and we found these little things there. And it just brings my ear just slightly closer to my lens and they work perfectly. So if you're facing a similar issue, I will try and find the link to these guys down below and I will link it for you guys. And hopefully you can get a set and they'll work for you. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am sponsored by Gustin Sports Optics. That is why I have the lenses that I do. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Mr. Gustin for your constant support over the years. I would not be where I am without your support. So thank you. If you guys are interested in getting a set of Pilas or Rangers, reach out to me or Webster Eye Care directly. I will leave the link to their website down below. This next section, I'm gonna be taking you through all six of my lenses and I'll be sharing how I decide which lens I'm gonna wear based on the light conditions or what discipline I'm shooting. I'm going to be showing you what targets look like through the lenses and obviously you're not gonna get a true color representation because it is not your eye, it is a camera lens, but hopefully it'll give you a little bit of an idea. And I'm gonna be sharing what all these letters and numbers mean on this case. Hey guys, so the first lens I'm going to show you is the lightest lens in my case. These are the Pila 98 AR lenses, and it's important to go into exactly what that means. The number on any Pila lens tells you exactly how much light the lenses are going to be letting in. So in this case, 98% of the light is being let in. These glasses are my go-to whenever I'm shooting at night under the lights. These lenses are almost clear, but the slight yellow tint really helps you see the targets clearly in a shoot off under the lights. The next set of lenses are the Pila 66N lenses. These lenses are designed to let in 66% of the light outside and they are a part of the Pila N family. The N stands for neutralize, which means that they mute any sort of green color to increase the clarity of the target. I reach for these lenses on those dark and overcast days, but also when I'm shooting sporting clays in the woods. They work well to, again, mute the green of the woods and allows for target clarity in those shaded areas. Overall, these are definitely one of my favorite pairs. Up next are the Pila 55 PWC lenses, often identified by their peach color. These lenses allow 55% of outside light in and are also chrome shift. The chrome shift technology is really interesting and to quote Pila, it's where we manipulate the visual representation of color to produce a more intense color profile and shift the actual color of the intended target. So basically these lenses change the way you perceive and see color. These lenses are great for those days when clouds are floating in and out of the sky and the lighting switches back and forth. These are definitely one of my favorites. From there, I have the Pila 50 RHC lenses, which have a nice magenta coloring to them. 
They allow 50% of light in and they offer what's referred to as high contrast. The high contrast technology makes the darks darker and the lights brighter to give you a high level of clarity and definition to the target. These are marketed as having an exceptional depth of field for target shooting. These are a great step down a color shade from the 55 PWC lenses and offer a high level of contrast, which is awesome. Now we start moving into the darker lenses. This next set is the Pila 22N lens, which is a violet or grape color. These allow 22% of outside light in, and again, they offer that neutralization of greens. These are my go-to lenses for shooting when it's really sunny out, especially when I'm shooting sporting clays. If you're a sporting clay shooter, anything in the N family is really going to help you out and give you the most target clarity amidst a heavily green background. Finally, my last and darkest lenses are the Pila 18 CED lenses. These allow 18% of outside light in, they have the chrome shift technology, and what's referred to as enhanced definition. Enhanced definition lenses are all about color balance to increase visual clarity. To quote Pila, everything you see is much more vivid. I love these lenses, especially in the summer when the sun is out and extra bright. These have more of a brown tint to them and you really get that balanced sight picture which helps your eyes see the target in a much more relaxed and normal state. As promised, I will be sharing my top three lens suggestions for you guys. So I will give you one light lens, one medium lens, and one dark lens that you should consider. The first lens I would suggest is the Pila 66N lens. Now these are the light purple lenses. They neutralize, they are super great on the sporting course, but also when you're shooting trap or skeet when it's super dark outside. Overall, these are definitely one of my favorites and I highly suggest them. For a nice medium lens, I would suggest the Pila 55 PWC lens. So they are the orange ones. And again, they work when the sun is going in and out and they work on the trap skate sport and clays course. They work in super bright conditions. They work in dark conditions. These are overall a really great, well-rounded lens and I highly suggest them. And now finally, for your dark lens, I would highly suggest the Pila 22N lens, which are the violet purple color. These are awesome when it's super bright outside. These are great for sporting clays. They neutralize green. They are just a fantastic dark lens, and I'm always reaching for these on those bright days. Up next, I'm going to be answering some of the most common questions I got from you guys on Instagram. Question number one, what are some of my favorite things about Pila? One of the first things that I love about Pila is the fact that they wrap totally around your head. This is especially great for sporting clays because it provides awesome peripheral vision and you really get a clear sight picture. The other thing that's really great about the lenses is that they don't have a post in the center here. Again, this offers great vision all the way across and I don't have any distractions while I'm shooting. Another thing that I love about Pila is the quality of lenses that you're getting. These are extremely durable and we all know that our sport comes with some wear and tear, so it's incredibly comforting to know that the right materials were being used to make these. They wanna make sure that you are confident in your lenses and ready to take on that next target. Another thing that I love about the Pilas is they have these snaps here. So it's very easy to change lenses if you're out shooting sporting clays and the light changes or your background changes and you need to make that switch real quick. These are very easy to use. The next question I'm gonna be answering is what is my personal favorite lens? I would definitely say the Pila 55 PWC. These are the ones that I've been showing for everything. These are the peach chrome shift lenses and they are fantastic. I can just throw them on, shoot whatever, and they work great. Question number three, do I switch lenses based on what discipline I'm shooting? My first instinctive answer is not really. I mean, for trap and ski, I usually just try and pick a lens based on the light condition. But if I am shooting sporting clays, I try and reach for something a little bit more on the purple side so that I can mute those green colors.
Going off of that question, question number four is, what lenses would you suggest to a sporting clay shooter? The first set of lenses I would suggest are the Pila 66M lenses. These are a light purple. They are going to neutralize the greens, but I love these because they are a lighter lens. So if I am walking through the woods and it's kind of darker, these are perfect and they allow for optimum target clarity. If you're shooting in brighter conditions, I would definitely suggest the Pila 22M lenses. These are the grape color ones, and these are really gonna mute those greens, but also subside the sun that's coming through. So these are another great option. Question number five is, what is the coolest lens that you own? So these lenses came to me relatively recently, but these are the Pila 98 AR lenses, and I think these are pretty cool because they are literally almost clear, but the slight yellow tint is really nice when you're shooting at night. I haven't shot with them a whole lot yet, but I'm really excited to. Now, this was the most requested question out of any of the ones that came up, and I kind of tiptoed around it because I am a sponsored shooter. But the question that everybody wanted to know the answer to was, are they worth the money? Again, this is a super hard question for me to answer because I did not pay for these with my own money. But as someone who had Rangers beforehand, I can't imagine going back. Definitely saw a big difference in how I was seeing the targets. Everyone in the shooting community will tell you how much your eyes run this game, and I could not agree more. It's all about what's gonna give you the most target clarity. Everybody's eyes are different, so if you get that with Rangers or you get that with Pilas, go with it. It's not my job to tell you to get one lens over the other. It's just my job to provide you with the information that I have. You just gotta find what works for you. And so I hope this video helped you out, helped give you some more information on Pila. Before we finish up this video, I just wanted to say that I know that everybody's head shape is different. I know that everybody sees targets differently. Everybody has different preferences on how they want to see those targets. So that is totally okay. These are just what work for me. So hopefully this helped you out in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that big red subscribe button and join our little family. Remember to leave me a comment down below if you have any video suggestions and share this video with someone who might find it helpful. Thank you guys, bye. The next set of lenses I really want to try are the Pilas 60DC lenses. Now, if you're not familiar with those, they are a really cool aqua blue color. So if I can get my hands on a pair of those ones, I'll do a video and I'll do like a quick review of them just because they're so crazy and they look like they're super cool. The other set of lenses I really want to try are the Pila 80HC lenses, and those are a neon yellow. And I have put those up to my eyes before and looked at targets, and it's insane. Like, your eyes, it takes a while for your eyes to adjust to them, but they look really cool. So I would love to try those out and give you a review on them. So hopefully we can make that happen. <laughs> and I will, <laughs> I just choked on my hair. <laughs> 55 p to p Again, these are the these these are the great these are the great Be sharing. What else am I gonna be sharing? I'm just gonna talk about a third thing. You just gotta be confident. Yeah, confident. The first major difference it is. I always forget to say this, but subscribe to me on Instagram if you haven't already. Her shooting journey. Follow.